Hello, I'm Scott. And I'm Kobe. Welcome to another episode of Dental, Dental Shorts. Shorts. Teeth. Artificial teeth. If you're a human that has teeth, one day you might need these. In the next few moments, we're going to take you through the process of designing and manufacturing digital dentures. Let's go. Let's go. All right, digital dentures, surely a very interesting topic. Uh, just to clarify, we are not going to debate on if digital dentures are good or bad. We are just acknowledging that they are here and they're going to stay with us. In these two episodes, we are going to show you how you can design a digital denture using ExoCAD denture module and then we're going to have the base and the teeth milled. We are going to talk about 3D printing digital dentures in the future. Of course, uh, this video is condensed version of the original video and you can contact us if you are interested to know about the cool tips and tricks that we use uh, designing this denture. In order to create a more realistic relationship between our design and an existing denture or natural dentition of the patient, we would recommend using ExoCAD Virtual Articulator module. You can choose the articulator of your choice and let the software recreate all the jaw movement for you. If you are designing a denture against natural dentition or existing denture, ExoCAD will ask you to define the anatomical landmarks of the opposing model in order to create a vertical dimension and midline. You start by pointing at the left and right molars and between the laterals for midline and ExoCAD will create a plane accordingly. In this stage, you can choose your desired set of teeth either from ExoCAD Teeth Library or from other companies' charts. Vita, Gabdi, Myerson libraries are already included and more companies are adding their charts to this library. Alright, here ExoCAD will preset the teeth and you as a technician will use your knowledge and skills in order to create an optimum setup. Chain mode is a very useful tool. In our extended version of this video, I will show you how you can make use of this practical feature in order to do your setup more efficiently. If ExoCAD library is selected in the previous stage, then you can resize all the teeth and that means you can fully customize the denture to fulfill your patient needs. Furthermore, you would be able to use the free form tool and modify the anatomy of each tooth in detail. All right, so we are finished with the designing of the teeth. Thank you, Kave, for no that. Problem. Yep. Uh, now's a good time to take a coffee break, and when we return, we will do the design of the base of the denture, as well as send the STL files to be nested in the CAM software, and then, of course, mill out both the teeth and the base to create a digital denture. So stay tuned for Dental Shorts Part 2, How to Create a Digital Denture. We'll see you soon. See you soon.